Hi guys, it's Lara from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and I have a small Michael's yarn haul. Um, and you know, I don't even remember why I walked into Michael's. Um, and I certainly, certainly was not looking for yarn. And I, I actually had to twist my arm really hard to buy this. Um, well, to buy some of it. Um, not all of it. And I do remember why I went into Michael's. Um, I had gotten this yarn for, um, and I'd started, I'd started working with it and, um, it wasn't thick enough to make the moose hat with. Um, so I went and I, I was looking for some other yarn. So, um, that's actually why I went into Michael's and I picked up this, the Craft Smart Value, um, and this color is Toasted Almond, and there are 354 yards, 7 ounces in this one, and, um, for the other part of the hat, I got this, um, uh, what color is this? Taupe. Um, and it's the Craft Smart value also. And there's, uh, 354 yards, 7 ounces in it too. So, these two I'll be using to make, um, the moose hat. And I shouldn't have much yarn left over after this. Um, I might be able to get one and a half hats out of it. Um, and then I noticed that they had some spice cakes and, you know, I'm not a big fan of Karen cakes. Um, and, uh, these are supposedly a number six and they're not a number six in my book. Um, so I just, I did grab a couple of colors that I thought were kind of cool. Um, this one, and I only grabbed one of each. Um, this one is called Indigo Go. It has, um, it's eight ounces, 230, 39 yards, and it's part of the Color Me Bold collection. Um, and it's a limited time only. Um, in the U.S., they're $12.99. Um, I got 30% off, um, because they're having 30% off all yarn. So it's a Karen Spice Cake, and the color is Indigo Go. All right, so I got that one. Um, this is another Spice Cake, and the color is Dark Spark. Um, this one is, uh, the color is Brave Wave, and I think they all have green in them. <laughs> oh, no, the, the spark one does not, but I think this one does. So maybe three of the four have green in them. Nope, this one doesn't either. Um, and this one is called, um... Cherry Sunshine. So I got those four colors. Um, and I will probably just make some hats with them. Um, this one for my grandson. I'll make him a hat with this. Uh, the others I'll probably just make some hats. Two of them are my colors. Um, and I know I have somebody that I can make the other one for. Um, I think the next couple of months I'm going to be making lots of hats um, to send to the um, cancer center. Um, I did get a, a message from um, Ipsy saying that um, she is sending me some hats for the cancer center. Um, so depending upon how many we get um, or I get between what I do and what you guys can send in, 
Um, I might get them there before um, Christmas um, for sure. Um, I think they said they had a few left. So I'm going to, I would like to see, at least make sure that they can, you know, have kind of like a constant supply. So we will see how that works up. Um, so um, now, you know, I can't go anywhere without buying a book or a pattern of something. And um, I, I saw these and I think I already picked up one of these, but it's a hooded crochet scarf with a keyhole. Um, I started looking at it and I'm, I'm not exactly sure what they're even talking about on this because it looks to me that there are more than, um, than five stitches. So I don't know if. Um, they got a pattern mixed up because I didn't look at it before. Um, but they want me to repeat one row of five stitches for, um, 76 rows. So I think this is the wrong pattern. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Um, and then I got a cross lines knit scarf. That looked kind of cool. I don't like the colors, but I kind of like the pattern. Um, so we will see how that progresses. If I even um, attempt to make it. Well, we'll have to see. But it's kind of, this is kind of the way you're going to make it. It's like that. It's different. Okay. And the last one I got, and I think I already have this one, um, is a knit waterfall um, vest. Um, I don't really like this. Oh, I don't actually know why I, I got it, but um, we shall see. It, uh, it looks kind of different. So um, I might just um, check it out and, you know, attempt to watch it and, or t attempt to, to do it. And if I don't like it, I can always rip it out. Right. I mean, that's what frogging is for. Um, but I did get some, some cool, um, yeah, I love to make dishcloths and I haven't done that in a long time. So, um, found a new magazine, easy dishcloths, make it tonight. Well, I'm working on my hat tonight, but let's see. Um, there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve um, patterns. And see, here's the first six of them. Those are cool looking. And here are the second set of six. I think this one is kind of cool. And, of course, this one because they used orange. Um, I'm almost, is it this one that uses, I think? No, it's this next one. The, it's the other ones that use the, um, these use four, four weight yarn. Um, but the other two books use one weight um, cotton. I just happen to have lots and lots of it. So let's look at the other one. Um, so these are easy crochet dish cloths. Um, and they are done with one weight. And they start on page 23. Um, it gives me a crochet class um, beforehand. Um, like how to do three double crochets in one chain or one stitch. Um, how to do single crochets. They give you a crochet class. Um, or excuse me, crochet school beforehand where they go through the stitches and everything and then the patterns come. Um, on page 23. 
And the first one is um, the shooting star. So this is what the pattern looks like. They have rated it a number one. Um, the next one, they have rated number or two, Aranthus. So that's what this one is. Um, let's see. Uh, roof tile is this one, and they have rated this three stars. Okay. Um, and they also give you measurements if you want to make a hand towel. Um, how much you'll need for it. This one is lollipop, and it is made, or it is, um, a one star. So that is the easiest. Um, a lapwing egg. I like eggs. I need, I need another egg. This one's getting ready to hatch and, you know, I, I, it, I'll tell you why the light's not on there later. Um, but this is a lapwing egg. And this one, I can't remember what this one is rated. A, a two. So I think the hardest, hardest level is um, a three. This one is called Sea Breeze. Mm. This one is Forest Floor, and it's rated a one. This one is Morning Dew, and it's rated a number two. This one is Color Block. And it's rated a three. I'm not sure why, but. This one is called Grandma. And it is rated a two. Yep, a two. And I think that's, oh, no. Um, this last one is rated three, and it's called Serrations. So, those are all of them, I think. Yes. So, that's all for the crochet, but you know I had to get a knit one, too. Um, so, let's find out. They do have a, um, a knit school in here. So, here's the knitting school. Um, I don't need the knitting school too much anymore, but I will still be taking classes for sure. But I do know, um, a lot of the stitches now. So, um, the simple cloth, this is not a picture of the simple cloth. Um, I'll show it to you anyway, but it's it's not the simple cloth. This is not it because it's just knitting back and forth, back and forth. And that's a number one. Um, this is called the broken rib, and this is rated a number one also. Um, this is the broken basket weave. This is kind of pretty. It's um, rated a number two. I like that one. Um, let's see. A cloth with ripples. This is rated a number two. And there's it right there. Okay. A cable stitch. Um... I've not learned how to do cables yet, but I think I might be learning in the, on this pattern right here. So there's the cable stitch. That's uh, rated a three. 
Um, this is called the zigzag pattern, and it is rated a two. That is cool looking. Um, Espelier pattern. I don't know what that means or what that stuff is on there. This is rated a three. Gentle Waves, um, and it is rated a three. Dragon Scale is rated a three. Check out the hat on the dog. Isn't that cute? Or is that a deer? I think that's a deer. I don't know. See, my deer... Are are moose size, and this looks like dog size. <laughs> um, all right, here's Parallelogram, and it's rated a two, two stars. All righty. Um, let's see, Reflections. That one's kind of hard to see, but there's Reflections right there. Okay, I don't know why they put that teeny tiny picture. Or maybe this is, this is the reflections right there. Um, then we have a waffle rib, which is three stars. Blue Stripes is one star. And that's it. So that is um, the last of those. So I, I will have lots of dishcloths, oops, to make. I love dishcloths. Um, I actually don't need any more. Um, I could use some more in, in the, in the madhouse, but in, in the inside house or the big house, I don't need any more, but you know, you can never have too many. So I will probably be working on both of those. Um, I can use, give some as Christmas presents too. So, um, I think that is it for my Michael's haul. Um, I will be doing um, Supernatural um, Crochet along with um, Lether Company. Um, that will be starting October 1st, which I'm super excited about. Um, and um, so, yeah, we'll be doing all kinds of different stuff pretty soon. So thanks, guys, for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.